Hi guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory. It's Raquel. It's 2021 and today's video is going to be on five tips to help you on your hair journey in 2021. I'm going to be bulk filming so you'll see a few videos with me. Same hair, same clothes, but I know you guys are here for the content. But before we get into these tips for 2021, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. So for today's video, I made some notes because I thought, what are some five tips, a really quick video, just to help you on your journey starting in the new year because it is January. So one of the first tips that I have for you on your journey is to take responsibility. Take responsibility for your hair journey, starting off by doing lots and lots of research. I know that we always reach out to people. We know people have experience, but take the time, go onto Google, watch you YouTube videos, do some of your own research and take control and take responsibility of your natural hair journey. Sign up for my master classes, sign up for hair coaching sessions as well. Get the information that you need to make this journey easy because trust me, this journey can be very, very easy. The second tip is just be patient. Be patient with your hair and be patient with yourself. I find so many ladies are so hard on themselves when it comes to their hair journey. If you make a mistake on your hair journey, don't worry about it. It can be rectified. Be kind to your hair, be kind to yourself. If your hair is not cooperating with you, give it some time. Don't rush the process because it is a process. And if you're trying to really speed something up, there is going to be problems along the way. You're going to be angry at yourself. You're going to be angry at your hair. So just be patient and trust the process. Guys, my fringe, I tell you, I don't know what to do with it anymore, but let's move on to step number three. And step number three is very personal to me and something I talk about on my channel, and it's acceptance. Accept your natural hair in 2021. Accept what grows out of your scalp. I might desire to have somebody else's hair type and texture, but this is what God has given me. So by really just accepting that this is my hair, there's no product that's going to give me a certain color type of pattern and be like you know what this is what I have I'm gonna work with it I'm gonna make it amazing it's really gonna help you on your journey except the shrinkage my hair shrinks as well I got a bit of length from the wash day that I did I'm gonna film a video about it in a little bit but just accept it and love it because it's part of accepting yourself and loving yourself as well the fourth tip is set a goal for yourself, but set a very small goal. It can be hair growth, it can be establishing your protein and moisture balance and work on that goal for the year. Try not to be all over the place on your hair journey. I know there's a lot of information, but just set a very realistic, very small goal for yourself. This year, I don't really have a goal for myself. I, every year, I want to wear my hair with more volume and I never get around to it, but I don't beat myself up about that as well. If it's hair growth, have a realistic length for yourself. If it's let me wash my hair every week. Most of you guys are pushing your wash day routine further than a week. So whatever it is, choose a realistic goal. So if every Saturday is my wash day, keep to that and pursue it in 2021. The last one is more about consistency, but also find a wash day routine that works for you. So for this year, try out a few things. Don't message me and say, Raquel, what must my wash day routine be like? I don't know. In one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, we can discuss certain things and I can help you formulate one, but that's done on a basis of a coaching session where I have more information about you and what you do. Over a text, I cannot do that. But try new things this year. Um, find a wash day routine and stick to it. And the key is sticking to it. Really try it for three months and see, is this working for me? And within the three months, you'll start switching things up and find what is gonna work for your hair. It's a wrap guys, five tips. I'm actually doing 10, but five tips just to start you out this year on your natural hair journey. I'm wishing you guys all the best of luck, healthy hair for this year. And as always, you'll see me again. Take care.